Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are. Welcome to the Malaysia International Dental Exhibition and Conference 2021, the digital edition. I am Tooth Fairy, your EMC for today. In spite of this lurking COVID-19 pandemic, MDA still continue the sharing of knowledge through this media and keeping everyone in constant connection with latest innovative dentistry as well as reigniting virtually with your colleagues and friends. For this digital edition conference, Tomorrow's Dentistry Today, we have arranged many topics of relevance by distinguished speakers around the regions and latest updates on the art and science of dentistry in this new norm year. We hope all of you will take this opportunity to attend all the four days of lectures, to enhance your knowledge and at the same time visit the virtual exhibition halls for the latest products etc. Ladies and gentlemen, without much ado, we would like to invite the chairman of the organizing committee, Dr. Lim Chu Wee to give his welcome address. Yang Berhormat Datuk Siri Dr. Aham Bin Baba, Minister of Health, Ministry of Health Malaysia, Dr. Leong Tae Ju, President of the Malaysia Dental Associations, Yang Berusaha Dr. Naomi Binti Osman, the Principal Director of Oral Health, Ministry of Health Malaysia, Mr. Brian Wong, Director and General Manager of GSK, Consumer Healthcare. Yang Berbahagia, Professor Dato Dr. Muhammad Ibrahim Abdul Hassan, Chairman of Dental Dean's Council, Ministry of Higher Education. Yang Berbahagia, Major General Dato Patlawan, Dr. Boham Bin Jasmine, Director of Dental Services, Malaysian Armed Forces, Presidents of the National Regional Dental Associations from various countries, distinguished guests and speaker, dear colleagues and friends, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed an honor for me to extend a warm welcome to you. I would like to express my gratitude and appreciation to our health minister, Yang Berhormat Datuk Siri Dr. Aham Baba for gracing the opening ceremony of the MDA MIDAC 2021. There are destructive technologies that force people to learn and adopt new skills and technologies in order to thrive. So is the effect of the COVID-19 pandemic. As a result of COVID-19 pandemic, Social distancing and traveling restrictions are imposed, but that does not prevent us from learning, which is part of our life. And learning takes place at all times and in all places. We have the MDA MyDEC 2021, the digital editions title, Tomorrow's Dentistry Today, with distinguished speakers from abroad and locally presenting their interesting and pertinent topics to you. The lectures are presented over four days from the 5th to the 8th of August 2021 and will be continued for another 60 days online. So we could go over and over again to learn. We also have MyDEC for forums online on the 8th August 2021 to focus on the topic practice of dentistry in the COVID-19 era among the National Dental Associations. Not to be left out is our oral presentation MIDAC 2021 which was held earlier on the 31st of July to allow presenters to share their research findings with peers and leading experts in dentistry. In short, the COVID-19 pandemic may force us not to meet face to face, but the pro programs and the activity are not any less intense. Adaptation and survival often go hands in hand. We have to adopt new norm in order to overcome it in the face of adversity and Zoom meetings and webinars become part of our life now. I also like to take this opportunity 
to express my gratitude to our speaker who are willing to share their skills, knowledge and experiences with us. A big thank you to our generous main sponsor, GSK. Another appreciation and thank you to Ministry of Health, Oral Health Programs, Dental Services of Malaysia Armed Forces, Dental Dean's Councils of Malaysia, Speaker and Workshop Sponsors, NDC Dental, Dance Fry Sinora, FDICE, Ivocra Viva Dent, Megagen, Allied Technology, Kaujais, Shofu and the Dental City. William Butler Yeats once said, Education is not the feeling of a pale, but the lightings of a fire. Let us keep that learning fire. On behalf of the organizing committee, I wish you a happy and fruitful learning experience. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lim. I will now invite the president of the MDA, Dr. Leong K. Jo, to address us. Yang Berhormat Datuk Sri Dr. Adam Baba, Minister of Health, Ministry of Health Malaysia. Yang Berusaha Dr. Normi Othman, Principal Director of Oral Health, Ministry of Health Malaysia. Dr. Lim Chi Wui, President-elect of Malaysian Dental Association, also the organizing chairman of MyDEC 2021, the digital edition. Mr. Brian Wong, Director and General Manager of Glexo Steve Klein, Consumer Healthcare, Yang Berbahagia, Professor Datuk Dr. Muhammad Ibrahim Abu Hassan, Chairman of the Dental Dean's Council, Ministry of Higher Education, Malaysia, Yang Berbahagia, Major General Datuk Palawan Dr. Borhan Jasmin, Director of Dental Services of the Malaysian Armed Forces, Ministry of Defence, Malaysia, Presidents of National and Regional Dental Associations from various countries, Distinguished guests and speakers from local and abroad, ladies and gentlemen. Greetings to all of you from Malaysian Dental Association. I am truly delighted and it gives me great honour to say my welcome message and as an expression of my sincere gratitude to the organising committee and the whole dental fraternity for making this event possible and to forever mark as an historical achievement by the association. Just like most of the associations, our usual activities that we run year in and year out have been greatly affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Most of our activities are now adapted to a new norm, if not toned down in moderation. Nevertheless, this pandemic has indeed not only opened up many challenges, but also created many opportunities we never thought possible forcing us to put on our thinking cap and to see things out of the box. We are in the midst of a great challenge, never once imagined happening in our lifetime, lasting for so long. We look at the figures every day, hoping for a breakthrough to see the light at the end of the tunnel in this COVID-19 pandemic. Unfortunately, the war is far from over and we have, we have much choices to continue to ensure that all our routines are adapted to a new system. Even in this pandemic, we are not free from issues concerning our dental fraternity. It has brought many, many issues and the association is trying really hard to address all of them. I wish to take this opportunity to congratulate Dr. Lim Chi Wui and his lineup of committee for another success story for the association. We see that the virtual conference is indeed slowly garnering interest among all dental practitioners. MyDEC 2021, the digital edition, is truly an event of international standard. It is an event of impeccable standard. Come and witness it yourself, and like the saying goes, don't judge the book by the cover. My sincere gratitude to our guest of honor, Yang Barhoma, Dato Sri Dr. Adam Baba, for supporting us to grace our event. We also wish to acknowledge our full support to the Ministry of Health Malaysia in combating COVID-19. 
Last but not least, I also wish to acknowledge GSK Consumer Healthcare Sudirat Bahad as our main sponsor and most of all for supporting and trusting MDA once again in organising this digital event amidst of the COVID-19 outbreak in Malaysia. Thank you and God bless all of you. Thank you, Dr. Leong for the inspiring speech. Organizing a mega event like this needs not only the participating delegates but also the support of the dental traders. It's with great pleasure to invite our main sponsor, GSK Malaysia, its managing director Mr. Brian Wong to deliver his speech. Good morning. To our guest of honor, Yang Brahmat Dato Sri Dr. Adam Baba, Minister of Health, Ministry of Health Malaysia. Dr. Leong K. Jo, President of Malaysian Dental Association. Yang Grosaha, Dr. Nurmi Othman, Principal Director of Oral Health, Ministry of Health, Malaysia. Dr. Lim Chu Wee, President elect of Malaysian Dental Association, Organizing Chairman of MyDEC 2021, the Digital Edition. Yang Barbarhagia, Professor Dato Dr. Mohammed Ibrahim Abu Hassan, Chairman of Dental Dean's Council, Ministry of Higher Education, Malaysia. Yang Barbarhagia, Major General Dato Balawan Dr. Borhan Jasmine, Director of Dental Services of the Malaysian Armed Forces, Ministry of Defense, Malaysia. Presidents of National Dental Association, esteemed council members of MDA, distinguished members, and delegates. Firstly, we at GSK are very honored and privileged to be part of this conference duly organized by the Malaysian Dental Association. Over many years, GSK have been partnering with MDA and participating in MyDEC conferences. And it is truly an inspiring conference, which brings together dental professionals from all over the country and abroad to be able to share and showcase their expertise in the field of dentistry. Unfortunately, the COVID-19 pandemic has meant delays in dental care for many. However, now as more and more dental offices are continuing to reopen in many communities, patients can fortunately now return to their regular dental visits to keep up with their dental health, to keep it on track and to be able to make up for the lost time. As a leading consumer healthcare company, which is truly consumer as well as patient focused, we are constantly finding new ways to help our patients improve their quality of life. With our expertise and our extensive oral care portfolio in different areas such as dentin hypersensitivity, bleeding gums, and denture hygiene, GSK would like to continue to use this opportunity to partner with all Malaysian dentists to encourage Malaysians to take care of their oral health. Last 2019, together with the Malaysian Dental Association, GSK has recruited over 800 dentists to participate in our campaign for free oral care checkups. This year, once again, we are very honored and privileged to be able to continue this partnership. And we will once again be partnering with the Malaysian Dental Association to offer over 800 free dental checkups in 800 clinics across Malaysia this coming October. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank all the Malaysian dentists for showing trust and confidence in Sensodyne and for being able to recommend Sensodyne to your patients in order to help them lead sensitivity-free lives. Sensodyne has had decades of R&D investment and experience, and we bring our best science to benefit our patients. I'm pleased to share that Sensodyne has once again pushed to bring a new and upgraded Sensodyne Repair and Protect, Deep Repair. We will continue to reach out to our dentists 
in order to be able to help more patients lead a sensitivity-free life and to enjoy small pleasures of life. Once again, we are um, would like to congratulate the Malaysian Dental Association for the digital edition of this conference uh, to continue the engagement and all the good progress that they have done through the years. We know that MDA will continue to succeed for many more years to come. And we always appreciate the ability and the partnership of working together to help progress Malaysians' oral care health. Thank you once again. Have a great conference and have a great day ahead. Thank you, Mr. Brian Wong. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together now to invite and welcome our esteemed guest of honor, the Minister of Health Malaysia, Young Berhorma Datuk Seri Dr. Adam Baba to give his speech and subsequently officiate the 29th Malaysia International Dental Exhibition and Conference, the Digital Edition. Yang Bursa, Dr. Leong K. Jo, President of Malaysian Dental Association. Yang Bursa, Dr. Nomi Binti Osman. Principal Director of Oral Health Ministry of Health Malaysia, Dr. Lim Chuoi, President elect of MDA, come organizing chairman of MIDEC 2021, Mr. Brian Wong, Director and General Manager of GSK Consumer Healthcare Malaysia, Singapore and Brunei, President of the Regional and National Dental Association from various countries, distinguished guests and speakers from local and abroad. Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera to everyone. I'm honored to be given a chance to open this international conference. On behalf of the Ministry of Health Malaysia, I wish to congratulate Malaysian Dental Association for organizing another international virtual dental conference. Experts in their respective field of specialties will share their knowledge not only to our local dental colleague but also for participants from other countries. Ladies and gentlemen, safeguarding oral health is important to ensure general health, well-being, and a good quality of life even during the COVID-19 pandemic. The Oral Health Program, Ministry of Health Malaysia, has taken various steps from the very beginning to re-examine the oral health system to ensure safe practice during the pandemic. We have created and updated guidelines from time to time. The Ministry of Health initiated a public campaign from July and December of 2021, which was gracefully officiated by Her Majesty Raja Permaisuri Agong to remind the importance of annual dental checkups as the nation strives slowly but surely to the new normal. On this note, I urge all dental practitioners to promote this campaign, instill the message and encourage the public to get their appointments for annual dental checkup as part of healthy lifestyle and well-being. I strongly believe that dentistry and oral health care delivery as part of the entire health system should morph and evolve along with the times. This occur well with the historic resolution made by the WHO World Health Assembly on 27 May 2021 that put oral health back on the global health agenda to pave the way for better health care. As such, I'm glad that the new deals in health released earlier this year by MOH has well incorporated the oral health care under the digitalization of health care services as well as the healthy Malaysian national agenda. ANMS 2020-2030. Digitalization of oral health care that currently in the pipeline includes virtual dental clinics, 
and online dental appointment. As we all know, tele-dentistry can offer an innovative solution to resume dental practice during this pandemic on top of other advantages and benefits it gives to the oral healthcare provision and utilization. In times of emergency, for example, a patient in rural areas or even the elderly may immediately talk to a dental practitioner about their dental problem. Apart from this, tele-dentistry may potentially reduce crowding at dental clinics and reduce costs. In addition, it may also help patients on good oral hygiene practice, teaching children to brush and floss, giving advice about healthy diet choices can all be done using tele-dentistry. Ladies and gentlemen, the art and sign of dentistry is ever evolving. We need to keep abreast with the latest knowledge by integrating ourselves with relevant scientific evidence, such as value-based research publications during this COVID-19 pandemic, clinical expertise, as well as patient or community treatment needs and preference, in line with the evidence-based dentistry approach as outlined by the FDI World Dental Federation 2021. With this, I strongly urge the oral health-related personnel from all levels, including clinician, policy makers, as well as dental auxiliaries, to constantly update themselves through various continuous professional development activities. Oral health personnel are strongly encouraged to be part of the researchers communities which in turn promote evidence-based practice through latest research implementing evidence-based guidelines among others to cope with ongoing changes in the world of medicine and dentistry to enhance this further we should put on great effort to shift from the traditional curative approach toward a preventive approach that includes promotion of oral health within the family, schools, workplace, including timely, comprehensive and inclusive oral health care within the primary health care system, thereby improving our health status of the nation. Thus, it is my sincere hope that dental conference such as MyDEC 2021 will be able to cater for this aspect, be it directly or indirectly. I wish to welcome all delegates to MyDEC 2021, and I wish all of you memorable and fruitful virtual conference. With that, I hereby officiate the MyDEC 2021, the digital edition. Wabillahi Taufik wa Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and thank you. Datuk Suri Dr. Adam Baba, Young Bur Hormud. Ladies and gentlemen, I will now sign off, Nanu Nanu, and hope all of you will enjoy the variety of arranged lectures. Bye bye and stay safe. Health and well-being, all starts with oral health. If your patients don't experience sensitivity, while they consume cold or hot food and drinks.
if their gums are healthy. If their dentures and retainers are well cared and comfortable. That means all your patients are happy. It is all thanks to you dear dentist. That your patients can protect their smiles even in these difficult days. Thank you for your support and commitment. We are here to support you with our products.